what you've done for me. Thank you, Lord, for what you do. Hey everyone, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas. And today I wanted to do, uh, share with you guys my little bee house here. Um, I'm just getting into this and uh, as most of you can tell, uh, most of the things I do, uh, I do it to learn and these are just things that I've thought about uh, from when I was a kid and so I wanted to talk about this a little bit. So I got some uh, leaf cutter bees today in from uh, Crown Bees and um, they definitely are a uh, uh, gentle bee company uh, I know the owner actually and um, he sent me this he sent me some bees as well and um, you know <clears throat> one of the things that I really like about this guy and uh, I'm not gonna build him up too much um, because I know he, he's a pretty humble dude but um, but this is my video I'll do what I want <laughs> But uh, one of the things that I really liked about him was he, he keyed in on something that I really cared about and I still care about um, when I started actually doing videos on YouTube and started talking to you guys about growing your own food. Um, he cares about basically people. That's, that's what it boils down to. He cares about feeding people and feeding the world. And um, he owns this little bee company, but, <clears throat> you know... It's kind of, it's it's all in your belief system. I mean, do you believe that you can do these things? And so when he talked to me about these bees, he really believes it. He really believes what he was saying. And that made me believe it. Um, I had a vision like that when I first started out doing home farm ideas. And my vision was to feed everybody uh, from their backyard uh, one yard at a time. Um, there's a lot of backyards in the United States and around the globe and um, you can grow your own food in the backyard so with that said I got these bees and the reason why I got these bees is number one because I really dig them you know I think bees are awesome um, I'm so excited to actually have these uh, and see how it all goes um, I'm gonna be learning through this process I'm not gonna really be doing like any kind of unboxing or anything like that um, I'm basically just gonna kind of show you guys what I do and how I started in the bees and how it's gonna progress and all that stuff and then I want to talk about it with you guys I know there's some of you out there you guys there's some of you out there that knows all about leaf cutter bees and mason bees those are the two bees that I'm gonna be getting and um, leaf cutters I'm not familiar with um, I've read a lot about them but I'm not totally familiar with them um, excuse me mason bees however um, I don't have I've never owned them but I've read so much on those I think I'm ready I think I know a lot about those but you know you always think that right when you first get something so I'm gonna be getting uh, I got leaf cutter bees today and so what I'm gonna do is I set up this house and, and I set up this basically this I'll, I'll zoom out a little later and I'll show you all this that I built I basically built an area where I can put a lot of different houses and stuff like that and um, and I'm gonna add to this later on I'm gonna get mason bees as well and uh, so some of the cool things I wanted to point out was when they ship this okay um, they ship this to me and they put the bees up here now yeah I know oh well, it's a space saver that's probably why they put it up there um, I actually think there's more to it and I think they might want to mention it um, which is one thing that I think I would mention to them and I'm sure they're gonna watch this video it's a really good idea to put the bees up here and the reason why it's a good idea and they probably do it for this purpose is because they're scent okay the bee scent is getting in there so when they ship them they ship all the cocoons and everything in there and that scent is in there so the bees are more likely to stay there and um, make this their house basically okay so um, so it's a good reason to have it that way so I'm gonna be putting my bees up there okay I have them in the fridge right now I'm gonna be putting them up there you need to put them in the fridge for about 15 to 30 minutes um, just to slow them down it's kind of like ladybugs you want to put them in the uh, refrigerator to basically slow their movement and stuff and then right around dusk pop them in there and I'm doing it right around dusk right now so um, so anyways I wanted to show you guys what I got from them. These actually, um, the all these are their houses. So this is kind of like each bee 
picks a hole. And then later on in the season, they come apart and then I can take the cocoons out and store them away. But I'm gonna follow up with you on those things all throughout uh, as long as I'm doing bees. So um, anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys. Um, Crown Bee sent me out this. Uh, go to their site, it's actually really cool. They have a lot of information. They're not just, uh, yeah, buy our bees and get lost. Um, like they actually have a really cool uh, cool site and information um, easy for iPhone users <laughs> I don't know if you're on an iPhone uh, droid uh, I'm thinking uh, mobile devices they're set up for so um, I'm gonna try to get some footage basically of me putting the V's in and I might speed it up just to show you how they work and might take you in a little closer uh, so you can see the bees and just kind of let the let the tape roll so anyway uh, God bless you guys and like always Peace. Let's get to that other half of the video. Put the put the bees in. One other thing I wanted to mention is that um, the males usually come out of the cocoons before the females, <clears throat> and so just wanted to mention that. So here is the leaf cutter bees, and as you can see, there's already some at the top here. So I'm hoping they'll go down a little bit. I don't want to agitate them, so I probably shouldn't flick the bag. <laughs> so. But basically, you want to open the bag up as much as possible. One crawled out really quick, so I'm trying to... Um, I'm probably more afraid of these things than most people because I don't know if I'm allergic. Um, but anyway, you're supposed to put them up here at the top. So since I have one open up there, I will leave that be, leave that be, ha ha ha. And then I will open this second bag and I will put them on top of the actual wood here, or these nest boxes. <clears throat> so yeah, they're coming out faster than I thought here. And some of them are just falling. I just took them out of the fridge and they were all, you know, crazy not flying around too much and then now all of a sudden they're they're beautiful <clears throat> so let me get a better shot of this and then I will basically bring you guys in a little closer uh, yeah they're flying around all right So let's go in a little closer. Really neat looking bees. They got green eyes. Well, that one does there. I don't know if, if there's a difference between the male and female in these. Um, obviously there, well, not obviously, most likely there is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let it record for a little while and see what we get. So, try to think ahead a little bit here because I want them to go down. The object is to get them to go down into these nests. So let me actually adjust the camera one more time and lift it up because I'm going to point this down at those holes. <clears throat> Sorry about this, but you know what? Like I said, I'm learning probably a better shot huh so let's go ahead and let it roll Well, that is one on my finger. I picked him up from the ground. <laughs> Am I impatient or what? Why don't you go in there? There you go. 
go. See? Very docile bee. As he stings me. I'm assuming this is a male because of the color. Because I've seen two different colors in here. So. So he would be considered what? A drone, I think? Cool eyes, huh? Green eyes. So I'm just gonna. Oh, don't, don't get pissed! <laughs> Anyway, he fell back down here. See, he's in the grass here. So, I'm going to see if I can gather him on my fingers and just put him up there. So, pretty docile, I would say. I'm going to look up drones. Uh, I think that's what they're called, the males, right? Drones. So, he's got some cool color on him. He's got like a yellow behind his head there on his body and he's got really cool green eyes and just looks neat so the males come out first then the girls come out so which would kind of make sense I guess it's working like a charm there's still lots of cocoons in there that need to be opened up so anyways thought I'd cut this video a little shorter um, once they get all acclimated and stuff to this new bee house and the area and stuff, I will definitely be doing some, I will definitely be doing some uh, <laughs> updates. So, anyways, like always you guys, God bless you and uh, yeah, peace. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button to get all our video updates. Oh yeah, we do have other channels now, so please check them out. Like always, God bless.